Just because he dug at me on Facebook. You can touch the bike. <laughs> it's not the rotor. With respect to aerodynamics, we had set ourselves an extremely unreasonable set of goals with this bike. It had to be simpler, it had to be stiffer, and all of this packaged up in a profile that would redefine the aero market in today's standards. And overall, what we've come out with is the world's undisputable fastest bike. With a combination of all the changes we've made in feature and cord, we've ended up with almost 45 grams of drag reduction, which is 5.5 watts. We've spent a lot of time on what we call Zone 1A and 1B, which is a handlebar assembly area and the down to wheel fork area. We started to realize that in the past, we've actually touched on some of these things already with the Aduro bar, which we developed in conjunction with 3T for the P5. So the bar started with making sure the bike included solutions for internal routing. And then once we were there, we realized we could use some of the same manipulations we use with the Aduro bar to get the aero benefits. So by combining previous experience as well as knowledge of how that airflow affects the rider, we're able to get gains that no one else in the industry has been able to see. We don't build anything unless there's a reason. There's a quantifiable value to that front end of that bike. The recent relaxation of the UCI's 3 to 1 rule, which refers to the width of an airfoil section in conjunction with the length of it, much of the industry claimed that there wasn't in fact much room for improvement because of it. But we looked at it, we saw a bit of an opportunity there, particularly in the fork and the seat stays, because you're able to go up to 8 centimeters deep while slimming down that profile to 1 centimeter. Yeah, I mean, I think at a time in the industry when finding aero gains is getting increasingly more difficult, we are really happy with the outcome of this. I have personally placed that bike in a wind tunnel again and again at three different facilities and consistently seen results that range from greater than six watts faster to not less than four watts faster than our own previous absolutely benchmark aero road bike. And so going forward, this bike will reestablish what the benchmark is for aero road. That is a place. That is a clan. I'm not even going to have a run at that. Yeah, I was going to say. Nah, that's good.